Previously on the Canadian Rally Championship, after a hard-fought season-long battle against Patrick Richard, Antoine Lestage capped his season off by earning his third Canadian Rally Championship at the Rally of the Tall Pines. Yeah, triple crown. We've won everything possible in, in North America this year, US, Canada, and North America, so it's uh, awesome. Both teams vowed to bring the fight back in 2011. Today, a new season of the Canadian Rally Championship dawns in Manawaki, Quebec, and the ice and snow-covered roads will set the stage for the first showdown of veterans and the young guns. It's Rally Persneige, and it's right now on TSN. Hello Canada, Vic Router along with TSN Rally Analyst Paul Chater. Welcome to the first round of the 2011 Canadian Rally Championship, the Rally Pair Snag. The starting list is packed with talented drivers led by defending champ and Triple Crown winner Antoine Lestage. Well, it's going to be hard to top last year, but we're certainly going to try and uh, I'm, I'm glad that the season starts and uh, happy to be here in Maniwaki in um, great conditions. So uh, I love winter rallies, so it should be fun. Every event is uh, a new event and there's always surprises, so we'll have to be careful because the snowbanks are not very stiff so and they can't hold you. So if you get in the snowbanks, you're going to stay there. Well, ideally I'd love a nice perfectly groomed snowy road with uh, nice snowbanks, but um, this one unfortunately is going to be, I think, fairly icy. Well, hopefully we'll have some fun on the uh, conditions we've got today anyway. So. And we can't forget four-time champion Patrick Richard, but he's got someone new calling notes. Two-wheel drive champion, co-driver, Leanne Chinilla. Yeah, it's, uh, it's exciting. I teamed up with Leanne. We've done a little bit of work before, and uh, this is our first rally together, but uh, she's been a previous Canadian champion in a two-wheel drive class, and I know it's going to be a, it's going to be a good event. Well, we've had some time in the car together in the past, and so I'm, I'm pretty excited to be uh, finally getting into competition, and should be a fun day. We'll see how it goes. The teams will face just over 200 very icy kilometers of competition today, over 14 special stages near Manawaki and then through the Foray de l'Aigle. Some of the stages have some snow, making tire choice tricky today. Two of the longest stages are the last of the rally, so endurance to the finish is the key. The Canadian Rally Championship on TSN is brought to you by Subaru. Think, feel, drive. Subaru. And man, does that look slippery. Out to the stages now, and the defending champion, the team of Antoine Lestage, not in Richard, they'll lead us off, Paul. The Rockstar Concerto team cleaned house in 2010. They locked up the Rally America Championship halfway through the year, then cinched the North American Rally Championship at Rally des Fee, earned a bronze medal at the X Games, and finally wrapped up the year by beating Patrick Richard to the Canadian Championship at the Rally of the Tall Pines. And really, it would be a tall order when you think about it if they were to do it all over again battling Patrick Richard this year, and he's the only other driver to accomplish that very same thing, the triple. But with an untested co-driver, you wonder how much of a threat he can be. Leanne Janilla may not have co-driven for Richard at a national event yet, but she's earned the two-wheel drive championship before and has tested with Richard numerous times. She's even stood into right nose for Richard at rallies, so they've got a tested system. Yeah, but that new co-driver isn't the only challenge. No, the roads themselves are treacherous. Richard, like most teams, is running out on ice tires for these highly polished in-town stages. Power means nothing if you can't put it down to the ground. Then, of course, there's last year's Rally Personnage winner, Bruno Carré, and he loves the conditions. I sometimes wonder if Bruno is wired right. He prefers winter events over gravel rallies, but he's got the formula down cold in these conditions. It's patience over speed at winter rallies, where the consequences of mistakes happen suddenly and irrevocably. And, Paul, that's the thing that crazy Leo Erlicic learned the very hard way. Leo was in the lead at last year's Paris Neige and was poised for not only his first national podium, but his first national win also. But he threw it away on the last stage by pushing too hard. Yeah, you can still be crazy, but you have to be composed. Now, one person that does have patience is Craig Henderson. Yeah, Craig is joined today by a new co-driver, Peter Watt. While Peter is no stranger to the silly seat, they have no experience together, and it's slowing Craig a little. Peter Thompson and Rod Hendrickson, on the other hand, have plenty of experience with each other, and with four-star motorsports backing them up, they'll be fast this weekend. 35 left uphill. 
Triple caution, break. And look at this. Old school rally master Sylvain Vincent has dug out his old WRX, coming out of retirement for some fun. Oh, we need to complete that picture. Now is Tom McGear and Frank Sprongle on these stages. Goodness gracious, we are talking about a couple of fossils there. Hugo de Grenier probably doesn't even know about them. The 2010 novice champion has a new swap shop prepared car. I'm going to bet that he proves to be a threat this weekend. Sorry, Paul, I'm not going to take the bet because the proof is on the leaderboard. Patrick Richard leads Lestage by less than a second with Team Swap Shop in third and fourth. De Grenier rounds out the top high. When we come back, the icy action heats up. This rally is one of those rallies where if you take one small risk, one small mistake, you're, uh, you're gonna, it's going to cost you 10 minutes. And the defending champs keep it cool for Rally Player Snares on TSN when we come back. Welcome back to Rally Player Snares on TSN. Service now. Patrick Richard leads, but it's too early to call a winner. Oh, it's uh, icy conditions as usual, but it's perfect for the Yokohama tires. It's working fantastic. Uh, Leanne and I worked a lot to try to get ourselves uh, acclimatized to each other before the rally, and uh, it looks like it's paying off. The good news is we're leading after the first two stages, and uh, we still had a lot of time in reserve. This rally is one of those rallies where if you take one small risk, one small mistake, you're, uh, you're gonna, it's going to cost you 10 minutes. It's a long rally, and uh, we'll see what happens later on in the day. Oh, it's going okay, two very short stages and not much to gain there just to get the feel of the road and the car and everything went well. It was uh, better than I thought and the second pass of course will be super icy but uh, no, the grip was okay. Uh, the choice of tires for, for the next loop I don't know, there, there's some snow in some places but it's also very icy in other places, it's a bit of a gamble. I see that Pat now is putting snow tires, yeah, I'm not too sure about it so we'll see. And Team Swap Shop is keeping the champions honest. It's going fine, actually. We have first passage, we have a lot of grip, so it's great. We're not too far behind Pat and Antoine. It's always the same strategy. Keep it on the road and go as fast as you can. It's going all right, but I thought it would probably be uh, slicker than it is, but it's not. Uh, it's pretty good. We're, I have a no cool driver for, for the event with me. Uh, we're trying to get used together. And we're not pushing any crazy things or nothing like that, so it's going all right. You know, and perhaps a little out of character, Crazy Leo is playing it conservatively. Uh, two stages in, it's going pretty good. We should have probably gone on the snow tires because there was a lot more grip than we anticipated. This time the strategy is to stay on the road, at least for the next loop. We'll make it to the next service and then we'll see where we are from there. All right, back to the stages now, and Richard has taken a gamble on tire choice. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're leading the rally after the first service, and uh, consistent with our strategy, uh, we've gone with a safe choice on the tires. We have the Yokohama AO34, which is a competition ice and snow tire. It's got a little bit more durable sidewall than the regular street tire that most of the other guys are using. It's not going to have the same ultimate performance on the ice, but it has better performance in the snow. But the big advantage is it's highly puncture resistant, and that's a safe choice given our strategy for the event. Wow, for this to work, he has to leverage all his speed on the long Kitagan Zivi stage. The snow tires won't work on the second passes through these town stages, where the ice has become even more polished. But it's a gamble that might work on the first runs through the 4A de Legla stages. This could pay off huge, or it could result in a disaster. I think you'll agree, Paul, when it comes to driving skill, Richard Lestage are almost equal. So this little bit of a risk might be the only way to get a jump, but is it the right time to gamble? Yeah, he doesn't have a choice now. We've just discovered that Richard received a one-minute penalty for checking into the first service early, which means Lestage now has a huge lead. If Richard is going to make up the time, he has no choice but to make a play like this and pray that Lestage makes a mistake or two. And you doubt that will happen. You don't earn the triple crown by being dumb, that's for sure. Lestage went out on the safe choice, ice tires again, banking on the more consistent traction they'll offer. It's a smart move, if a little conservative. Um, yeah, it'll hold him back slightly on the snow but there's still a lot of ice out there and he now has the breathing room he needs to play it safe look at uh, Bruno Carre just having a ball out there his talents his driving style are really suited perfectly to these conditions yeah well he can't quite match the pace of Richard or Lestage he's solidly in third place and opening ground on teammate Craig Henderson who is having some difficulty with his new co-driver Bruno's conservative strategy paid off with a win last year and maybe the formula for success this year. Crazy Leo and uh, Can Jam Motorsports have been working to try and up Leo's game. He's committed to bettering himself as a driver, spends a lot of spare time developing technique and doing testing. It won't be long before we see him regularly on the podium. 
but he can't quite get past Hugo de Grenier. With his new car prepared by Team Swap Shop, he has a lot more speed at his disposal. And the build quality of the Swap Shop cars is second to none. If he can stay smart, only take the risks he needs to, he could threaten Henderson or even Carre. Amazing for this novice champ. Now in two-wheel drive, Paul, the class-dominating Zedril brothers, they're back. Despite dicing it up with Simon Dubay very briefly, the Zedrils will start their 2011 season with another class win. So Patrick Richard's gamble doesn't pay off as expected, and the penalty puts him just over a minute back of Lestage. De Grenier is rapidly making up ground on Henderson, while Carré is solidly in third. When we come back, the slippery conditions mean anything can happen. I'm driving with a little bit more of care, holding it a little bit to make sure I'm not doing any mistakes. I always like to go for it, but again, I got to think about the championship, and we got to get more this weekend. This is Rally Pettersnay. We're back with Rally Pettersnay here on TSN, and with extremely slippery conditions like these, the top teams count on the best tires possible to keep them on the road, and Yokohama makes some of the best. The tire to, to go with will be the Yokohama IG20. Same, same tire that you can put on your car for every day. That's what we're using here, and it's been working very well in the past, and uh, I'm confident that these Yokohama will be the, the right tire too this weekend. That's what we're starting on, and I'm planning probably on using that all day long. The Yokohama tires are the best tires for these conditions, even if you look at the other cars are sponsored by some of the other manufacturers, they're still running Yokohama tires, and we know that means something. I mean, uh, it's the fantastic, uh, it's, it's the best tire to have for these conditions. On the road or on the stages, the right tires, of course, make all the difference. And the tires aren't the only thing working well for Antoine Lestage. His strategy is paying dividends. Yeah, it's going very well. Uh, I, I think the snow tires would have been a little bit better, but um, we, we did a good job, I think, with the ice tires. I'm driving with a little bit more of care, holding it a little bit to make sure I'm not doing any mistakes, but uh, it's going well so far. And because of that timing error and that intercom problem, Patrick Richard has a lot of ground to make up. Yeah, I mean, we took a gamble of the tires, but it was the right choice. Uh, it was the best tire for the conditions. The AO34 does have a reinforced sidewall, so it's a lot stronger. And there was a bit of snow out there, but unfortunately, on the long stage, where we would have gotten our main advantage, we had an intercom problem. We lost communications for a while. We lost about 20 seconds at least from that problem. Uh, I could barely hear Leanne for at least uh, 20 of the 30K. Uh, but that being said, we only dropped two seconds to Antoine. So that means it was the right tire choice. We just weren't able to capitalize on it. I always like to go for it, but again, I got to think about the championship and we got to get points this weekend. And in the battle of the young guns, it's going well for De Grenier. Yeah, it's really fun. New car and uh, really fun to drive. A lot of power and a lot of grip today. So it's perfect. And it's a pleasure to know that I'm in front of Chris Leo, who's a really fast driver and really cool guy. Um, perfect. But you know, rally is pretty long and it's never over until it's over, huh? Yeah, but it's fair to say this opening round of the season isn't shaping up the way Richard had hoped. Uh, no, not at all. Uh, Patrick Richard was looking for a strong start to the championship, but this seems to be the one event where he always has bad luck. He had a collision with ACP in 2008 and had engine trouble take him out of both 2009 and 2010. He's not out of the game yet this year, but he's got a lot of work to do to make up the ground he's lost. But if anyone can, it's a four-time champion. One thing is for certain, Paul, that Lestage isn't going to give Richard any openings. Yeah, with a margin for error, Antoine is smart enough and patient enough to back off a little. While a racer at heart, he knows that if he gets into a battle to win individual stages, he'll start taking risks he can't afford to take. And it looks like the 2005 champion, Peter Thompson, is also having some bad luck. Yeah, Thompson picked up a flat tire, but that's not the worst of it. The real trouble came when they tried to change it. Thompson's jack broke, making a tire swap impossible. It's a heartbreaking way to end a rally. 50. And despite his flamboyant style, Crazy Leo still in sixth place overall. And you know, some of that newfound maturity has to be coming from Stuart Ho, the head of Canjam Motorsports. No doubt Stuart Ho and Can Jam turned Subaru Rally Team Canada into a world-class team back in the day, and he's slowly working his magic once again, this time on Leo. If the rally guru can harness the young gun's energy and skill, they will soon be a threat for the championship. 
while the old master Sylvain Vincent seems to be having some trouble finding his old groove again. Man, hold on. Vincent's WRX is basically in the same configuration it was over a decade ago, and the technology has advanced considerably, especially in the area of suspension equipment. Give him time, though. I'm sure Vincent can still teach the new guard a trick or two. It's terrific to see those tires bite, despite the fact they don't have any studs. Bruno Carre having a great run, running his own rally, really. He isn't getting into a battle with the people ahead of him. He's just keeping up the pace so the teams behind can't catch him. Teammate Henderson is struggling with a lack of experience with co-driver Peter Watt. It takes time, you know, to build a relationship to be a contender. Well, DeGrenier and Kirby are not only working well together, they're also proving to be a serious threat to the front guard. Uh, they've moved up ahead of Henderson and Watt, and he's less than 20 seconds behind Bruno Carré and Yves Joyal. Uh, could the Young Guns' first podium be in sight? Well, they've looked very good so far, haven't they? Keeping it all together. Now, there's been a major shakeup on the leaderboard, and look at this. Lestage still leads, but Richard has suffered a broken wheel on stage 11, bumping everyone up, and it's a serious blow to his championship hopes already. Two of the most treacherous stages, though, are still to go. Yeah, everything's going very well, so finger crossed, because last year it happened to me. Now I gotta make it to the end, trying not to stop it. It's the run to the finish when we come back. Welcome back to Rally Persneige here on TSN. And as night falls, the teams get set for the final loop all through the infamous Tortue stage, which makes up nearly a third of the whole rally distance. So it's anyone's game. The Canadian Rally Championship on TSN is brought to you by Subaru. Think, feel, drive. Subaru. And by Yokohama Tires. Now you've got control. In for the final service, and the challenges just keep getting bigger and bigger for Patrick Richard and Subaru Rally Team Canada. Unfortunately, on the last second run through Kid again, Zibby, uh, the left front wheel exploded. You can see the rim, it just it turned into two pieces, and uh, we couldn't actually get it physically off of the car. We stopped to change the tire, but we couldn't get it off the car, so we lost a bunch of time. Anyway, that's the way she goes. Well, all is well under the Rockstar 10. Yeah, cars running great. Uh, the Yokohama IG20's ice tires are great, and uh, yeah, everything's going very well. So finger crossed. Yeah, it's good to battle for the win, but it's not just about winning stages. It's a tough rally, and I think you need to use your head, and that's what I did today. I started with a different approach. I wanted to be a little bit careful because last year it happened to me. So um, and I just drove steady without taking any big chances, and it, it paid off so far. But it's not over yet. In the swap shop camp, it's going exactly to plan for Bruno Carré, who is now up to second. Everything is fine. It's, it's looking like last year. It's, it's, it's exciting. But, you know, the three stages we have left are tough one and difficult one and twisting and winding and everything. So the rally is going to be decided within those stages. So I'm excited to be there, but uh, I'm still careful, you know. Tour 2 is going to be interesting because Tour 2 has some dirt in it this year, so which means that to set a good time we have to go really, really fast. So we'll see how it goes. At the same time, Tour 2 has uh, very slippery off cambers. You can't see it, but the car just drifts wide and towards the trees, towards the outside of the corner. So it's a very tricky stage, but uh, I kind of looking forward to it. Now I got to make it to the end, trying not to stuff it. No, stuffing it would not be good. So here we go, Paul. The start, the final loop, the rally leaders, defending champions, Antoine Lestage, Nathalie Richard have started the season on a great note. It isn't over yet, Vic. With the darkness comes a drop in temperature, and that can change the surface conditions. Furthermore, this is a turnaround stage, meaning every team is going to run over the same patch of road twice, polishing the ice to the consistency of a skating rink. Uh, Lestage will need to tread carefully. And really, the same thing goes for Crazy Leo, but I'm not sure if he's planning to take it easy or not. <laughs> well, maybe you'll make it farther into the States this year. You know, Paul, I think a lot of people would like to see more from uh, Leo. Look, he has the energy, he has the skill, he's dedicated, has passion for the sport, but he just hasn't been able yet to put all that together. 
Yeah, with Stuart Ho and Can Jam backing him up, it's only a matter of time before he finally figures out a way to leverage all those qualities into a winning formula, but it's a process of trial and error. Boy, it is tough, isn't it? And look at that. There's the error. That's what you were just talking about as he stuffs it. Yeah, and Leo is well and truly stuck. His rally's over. Um, and this could actually be bad news for young Hugo de Grenier. Hugo's running behind Leo on the road, and if Leo isn't completely off the road, it could be tight for Hugo to get through. And if Leo went wide on the corner, oh, what's to stop de Grenier from doing that too? Oh, 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 oh. Great save, terrific save. And he will be rewarded with his first national podium. Starting the season with a third place, that's awesome for him. Bruno Perret's proven strategy earns him another podium at Paris Neige. He finishes second. Well, Sylvain Vincent isn't quite up to a win, but he still brings that old warhorse of a car to the finish line. Working hard, Patrick Richard and Leanne Janilla managed to jump back into fourth place, which keeps them in the hunt for the championship this year. When you consider the challenges they face, new co-driver failed intercom, broken wheel, it's a good finish. Yeah, but you can't tell that to this former champion, someone of the caliber of Richard. He's not satisfied with second, let alone fourth. I mean, he'll be back, we know, for the Rocky Mountain. But once again, the battle of Richard against Lesage will set the tone for the season-long series. But in the end, it is Lesage and Richard that make it look easy. Yeah, awesome start to 2011, and it's... Uh fourth win in a row in Canada. It's been a perfect rally, no mistakes, and uh, thanks to my sponsor, Rockstar Concerto in Yokohama. The tires were great. Again, that did a superb job. 